Let's get it going guys, it's me Bronte Games here and I am here with the infamous Five Nights at Freddy's 2. I was not expecting much from this game until I started watching on YouTube and stuff. And even just watching some videos on YouTube had actually scared me. So, I decided to message my friend George. Yes you did. And um, get him to download it for me. Yes you did. <laughs> yeah. So, this is Five Nights at Freddy's 2. I did um, one night, as you see I'm on night 2. And um, just to try that out, first night, nothing happened whatsoever. Bonnie came out, but that was about it. Um, and then I tried night two, and I got scared of living daylights. So, just play it in let, <laughs> let's do night one. There you go. Help wanted. Grand reopening. Vintage pizzeria giving you life. Come be part of the new face of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. What could go wrong? Famous last words. One, £150 a week. Wow, okay. Alright. See the mouse on the screen. 100, 100, no, not 150. 100 pounds and 50 cents. Or pence, or whatever it decides to be. These are the three. Uh, hello! Oh. Hello, hello! Uh, hello, and welcome to your new summer job at the new and improved Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Uh, I'm here to talk you through some of the things you can expect to see during your first week here and to help you get started down this new and exciting career path. Uh, now, I want you to forget anything you may have heard about the old location, you know. Uh, some people still have a somewhat negative impression of the company. Uh, that old restaurant was kind of left to rot for quite a while, but I, I want to reassure you, Badbury Entertainment is committed to family fun and, above all, safety. They've spent a small fortune on these new animatronics. Uh, facial recognition, advanced mobility. They even let them walk around during the day. <laughs> Isn't that neat? <clears throat> but most importantly, they're all tied into some kind of criminal database so they can detect a predator a mile away. Heck, we should be paying them to guard you. Uh, now, that being said, no new system is without its kink. Uh, you're only the second guard to work at that Whoa. location. Uh, the first guy finished his week, but complained about conditions. Uh, we switched him over to the day shift. So, hey, lucky you, right? Uh, mainly he expressed concern that certain characters seemed to move around at night, and even attempted to get into his office. Now, from what we know, that should be impossible. Uh, that restaurant should be the safest place on Earth. So, while our engineers don't really have an explanation for this, the working theory is that... The robots were never given a proper night mode. So when it gets quiet, they think they're in the wrong room. So then they go try to find where the people are, and in this case, that's your office. Oh. So our temporary solution is this. There's a music box over by the prize counter, and it's rigged to be wound up remotely. So just every once in a while, switch over to the prize counter video feed and wind it up for a few seconds. It doesn't seem to affect all of the animatronics, but it does affect one of them. Uh, and as for the rest of them, we have an even easier solution. You see, there may be a minor glitch in the system, something about the robot thing you was an endoskeleton without his costume on, and wanting to stuff you in the suit. So hey, we've oh given you an empty Freddy Fazbear head. Problem solved. You can put it on any time, and leave it on for as long as you want. Eventually anything that wandered in, will wander back out. Uh, something else worth mentioning is kind of the quirky modern design of the building. You may have noticed there are no doors for you to close. <laughs> uh, but hey, you have a light, and even though your flashlight can run out of power, the building cannot. So don't worry about the place going dark. Sure. Well, I think that's it. Uh, you should be golden. Uh, check the lights, put on the Freddy head if you need to. Uh, keep the music box wound up. Piece of cake. Have a good night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. So yeah. That's essentially all it is. I love that new thing. Um, yeah, I've got to make sure I keep this round up, otherwise that thing in that box with the puppet thing up there will come out and come at me. Um, okay. Chica's gone, and so has Bonnie. Found Chica. Bonnie, 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 Bonnie. Hey there. Flying V there. Yo, where's Chica? If 
Oh, chica. Oh, God, I need to run it off. Nothing happened last time, so I shouldn't really get attacked. The only problem I have with this is that is in that corner. And whenever I try to do something, I always click this up on accident. Man, my heart is beating like 10 times how much it should be. Oh, someone's in the vents. Yeah, it's been out for like a total of three days, and this is the strategy that has already been put onto it. Do this, go to the music box. Right. <gasps> essentially saying that they are near by the vents. Mate, my heart is actually going like a billion miles an hour. One of things in the vents. Find the box. Check that vent. Nope. Check that vent. Nope. 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 One thing is more. Actually, a lot scarier than it looks on YouTube videos. I mean, you, you expect it to be like a little scary, but when you've actually got scared by it once, it literally ruins. Come on, 5 a.m. Come on, six. Come at me. Come on, please. Come quickly. Eh? No doubt. Exactly. Yes! Whew! Okay, that's good. Oh my god, you little dude! <laughs> oh, I actually hate you. Oh my god, no! So yeah, that's stage 5, that's phase 1. That's the first night everyone done with. Um, uh, hello, hello. Next episode will be night two. Uh, this night here. Yeah. Um, shut up. No one wants to to you. <laughs> anyway, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you want to. And make sure that you comment. I will more than likely reply. And I hope to see you guys later. Bye.